Hi friends, this is Deanna here today, and today we're sewing up the Premier Pencil Skirt. This is such a cute pattern, it's got so many nice details. On this version, I'm sewing up the midi length, and I'm sewing up the side split, but I am also going to show you how to do the pleat in the back, so I'm excited about that. Let's get started. <laughs> Alright friends, we're going to get started by adding our darts. Now what I like to do is I like to go ahead and cut my dart out or at least cut the lines where my darts are supposed to go so that way I can kind of give myself a, an idea of where they're supposed to go and draw it. And I'm going to draw it to the wrong side of the fabric so I'm going to look at my fabric closely and make sure this is the wrong side and I think that's the wrong side. Sometimes some fabrics you really can't tell what's the wrong or right side. So we kind of just go for it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and mark it. Um, I just mark it with my uh, water-soluble marker. Um, you can use um, chalk, water-soluble marker, whatever it is that you wanna use that you're comfortable with to mark your fabric. I like to go ahead and cut. I was gonna leave that middle piece so that I can mark the middle, but I'll just use um, something else to mark it because I wanna make sure that I go all the way down. And then I'm gonna use like a little ruler to mark the center all right so there's my dart and i'm going to do that to all of them all the sides and the front and back all right now that my darts have been marked I'm going to pull the fabric here towards the wrong side and how I like to mark that is I like to grab a pin and I'm going to go in one side and then come out the other side where my dart is. You see I'm coming in one out the other and then fold and come in that same side and come out the other. So it kind of helps me to fold it right in a line. As you can see on this side, I'm right on this line on this side, and then I'm right on this line on this side. So I've got it nicely matched, and then I can go ahead and when I go sew it, it's nicely evened out. Let's see, once I've got them pinned, I'm going to start here at the top with a normal length stitch, straight stitch. I'm gonna do a back stitch here and go down to the point end of our dart. When I'm getting to the to the bottom, uh, I'm going to switch my stitch length to about a 1.5 or less to make a smaller stitch as I go out here and then just go out the edge um, with my stitch. And I'm not going to back stitch because I don't wanna make a pucker here, but I am going to very lightly make like a knot at the end of the thread, but don't pull it tight because that will uh, pucker your fabric and you don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna do this to all the darts. All right, we're starting here at the beginning with a regular stitch, doing a back stitch first. And then I'm going all the way down along this area where I pinned. I'm getting close to the edge, so I'm gonna make my stitch go down and finish up. And then come out at the end and pull the little thread out and leave myself enough to tie that off at the end. Now I'm gonna do that for all of them. After you're done, um, you're going to go ahead and like I mentioned earlier at the bottom, you wanna tie a little knot, but don't tie it tight. You just wanna tie a little knot that's going to keep that from coming apart and then you're gonna trim your excess. So I've tied all my knots and then I'm just gonna trim it a little bit so that it um, it's not hanging loose at the bottom. Now I'm going to grab where those pleats are and I'm going to steam them side, steam them all back and forth so they're nice and straight and even. And then uh, I steam them from like going one way, going the other way, and then you leave, you end up steaming them towards the side seam. So steam them all towards the side seam. This is what they look like on the front. All right, I am actually going to be sewing the midi length. That's the option that I wanted to sew up. 
and I don't need this piece here when I'm sewing the midi length, but I wanted to show you how to do it, and so that's why I have it. Um, it's just a little bit different construction, not a whole lot of difference, so I'm going to show you here how to do the construction, um, and then I'm going to tell you how I do it with the midi. So uh, first, you're going to go ahead and finish this raw edge and then hem it. So we're going to pretend that I already finished it with my sewing machine or my serger, and I already top stitched and hem it. We're going to pretend this is already hemmed. So what we're going to do is first we're going to grab and we're going to mark our placement. Um, here's our dot here. This is our dot placement here. I'm marking it with my water soluble marker. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold here at this line. This is my stitch line because I'm going to mark it on my skirt. Now, if you are using a serger for most of the construction, you're also going to grab your ruler and you're gonna mark about an inch up from the edge because we wanna finish this up with a sewing machine here uh, to complete the construction. All right, once that's strong, we can place the two back skirts right sides together. Again, like I said, I am doing, I'm not doing the vent. Uh, but I am doing the back, so I might just go ahead and finish the vent area here for the midi, even though the midi is usually done with the two side um, uh, vents, the side slits. But I want a back slit, so maybe I'll show you how to do it in the back, and that way you get both. But anyway, so I'm going to, I'm just going to clip this together. And I have my markings on the other side. You can go ahead and make them on this side as well if you want. Or you can go ahead and sew it this way. Actually, I'm gonna make them on the other side because I like to sew it this way. So let me make those marks real quick. All right, here's my mark. And then I'm gonna go an inch up from there. And what I'm gonna do here at the vent from the inside corner to the outer edge, I'm gonna turn and go this way with my sewing machine. So I'm just making a, like a line that I'm gonna follow when I sew. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with my serger and serge down to this first point right here, which is the inch. Then I'm gonna go with my sewing machine and sew with a regular straight stitch down to this first point, and then I'm gonna pivot and go over down this way. And then from here down this way, I'm going to use a basting stitch, which is a long straight stitch on my sewing machine just to close this up. This stitch will be pulled after construction. So let's go do this over here. What I want to do here is I wanna start right at the edge of my seam allowance, right where my serger stopped. And I'm gonna go to that first point. Now I'm gonna lift up my needle and go sideways, still using that same straight, straight stitch. And here, back stitching at the end. There, you can really see it there. See how it comes right after the uh, serge edge there? And then I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna do a basting stitch, which just is just a long straight stitch. I'm changing my stitch length to a five. I'm not back stitching or anything because I will pull that stitch out later after some construction. Now I am going to open up the back. You can trim all these threads here and we're gonna steam that seam. And we're gonna vent, press it towards the right. Now I'm turning my skirt around and I'm pressing this area, this vent area here, pressing it well. Make sure everything is kind of straight here so it looks good. This will ensure that it will look good once I pull that basting stitch out. Now from the wrong side, we're gonna flip it to the wrong side. 
here where we sewed up this um, stitch here, we're gonna go to our sewing machine and we're going to sew up a basting stitch all the way through. So we're closing this down so that we can sew it through all the layers. A basting stitch is gonna give us a guide to then sew it up right here. And you wanna sew that with the same color fabric because you'll be able to see that stitching here from this side. All right, I know I said same color fabric, but you know I meant same color thread. We're gonna use the same color thread when we go to sew it. So let me go ahead and do that basting stitch to show me where I'm gonna sew it at. Pull it out. Change the thread color. So I'm gonna remove these pins and I'm gonna go where I did that basting stitch there. And I'm gonna sew my stitch backing at the beginning. And going down and then backing at the end. My friends, do not forget to change your stitch to a regular stitch length or you will be coming back to your sewing machine and doing it all over again, just like I am. Hmm. Alrighty, now we are going to Remove the basting stitches. And now our vent is completed. Here it is what it looks like on this side. See how good that looks? And then once you hem it, you'll catch this down and it will be cut on there. So cute, it looks so nice. I think I'm going to leave this vent. I know you're not supposed to have a vent for the midi, but I might be a rebel and leave it. And then I'm gonna show you how to do the side vents, even though I'm not going to do them because of the fact that I think I'm gonna leave this back vent and see what it looks like. We're gonna try it. All right, now I'm gonna grab my front and back. And if you're not doing, if you're just doing the back vent like I did here, you're going to place them the right sides together and sew the right, the, the raw edges of the outer of the skirts, right sides together. Now, if you're doing a side vent, so like if you're doing the back vent, you're sewing up those sides, right sides together, and you're pretty much completed this, you're gonna move on to the waistband. If you're doing the side vents, let's go from here, you wouldn't have this. What you would do for the side vents is you would grab the back, and my vent looks so good, I don't wanna get rid of it. You would grab the back. All I'd have to do to get rid of the vent right now really would be just to um, unpick this and then stitch all the way down because you just stitch the back, right sides together, all the way down the back. So later, if I feel like, mm, I don't like the back vent, I can always get rid of it. So that's why I'm just experimenting right now. So you would go all the way down the back, sewing the back's right sides together. So now you would have, this would be all sewn together in the back. Now for the sides, we're going to mark because what we're going to do is we are going to move on to now sew the sides, but since you're gonna do the side vents, they sew just a tiny bit different than if you were not gonna have the side vents. So we need our pattern piece again. We're gonna place it right over and we're gonna mark where that side vent back stitch mark is. We're marking that right here. Now, if you're doing if you're doing a serger stitch, you're gonna go up an inch from that stitch because we're gonna do the same thing that we did when we were doing that back vent, where we're going to go all the way down with our sewing our serger and stopping at that first point, and then I'm gonna grab my sewing machine and go down the rest of the way. All right, like I said, this first side, I'm just going straight because I'm not doing a slit on this first side. On the second side, I'm going all the way down to that first notch. Here's my one inch notch. Again, if you're doing a sewing machine, you'll go all the way down to that point that I marked. But since I'm doing a serger, I'm going an inch up and then I'm gonna go over to my sewing machine and do a straight stitch to that dot and back stitch right there. I'm gonna start right next to the serge edge, go back stitch and go all the way down to that dot. 
All right, so here is where I made that stitch. It comes straight from my seam here, goes straight down. And, and then I'm going to clip here right at the middle. I'm gonna do a little snippet up to the thread. My fabric is being a little stinky. Careful, you don't cut the thread. There it is, okay? And then now I'm going to open it up and split open that stitch right there. And that becomes my seam allowance. And I'm going to use my iron and steam it open. I'm just clipping these threads that are in my way. And steam that open, which later will come back and top stitch like a slit. See how here becomes the seam allowance opens and this becomes my slit right here. Now I'm just going to open it up and pin in place or clip. And now we're gonna top stitch all the way around. So up, over and down to create that slit. Now again, for the midi length, you have slits on both sides. I'm just doing one slit on the side because I haven't made up my mind on what I want to be the finished results. So, and I want to show you all the different ways. So I'm just going to go all the way. And so if I wanted to get rid of this vent area here, I would just undo the hem, place it together and continue from here and stitch all the way down. And that would be an easy way to, you know, if you're not sure, like I am not sure. So I'm going to go top stitch this down. When I reach the top, I turn and go sideways. And then I turn again towards the bottom to finish up that blacket or slit. All right, as you can see, this is the back. I went a little closer here. I had a lot of seam allowance here. I don't know why I went so close. I'm going back, a bit, back and fix that. But look at how good it looks right here at the start is how you want it to look really nice and neat. And then on the other side, it just looks like a slit right there. So that, let's put that aside. Our skirt is looking really nice. Look at that pleat in the back. And then look at that slit in the side. And so, well, we go on to our waistband. Now we want to mark the waistbands, the two back waistbands and the two front waistbands. So I'm going to grab the two backs. And what I'm going to do is on the wrong side of the waistband, I'm just going to draw a little, like a little B for the back. So like I know that both of these are the back waistbands. Now that I've marked the back, the two backs, I'm going to grab a back and a front. That one's got a B for the back, a back and a front. I'm gonna place them right sides together at the short raw edge, and I'm gonna sew with a stretch stitch. All right, now I'm going to turn one of the bands right side out, and the other one inside out, I'm gonna fit one into the other. Now remember, back with back. So remember to keep them straight, and I'm going to put a basting stitch at the top raw edge. And just line them up. I'm going to put a basting stitch all the way along this top at the same seam allowance, right at the seam allowance. That's going to be what's going to guide us when we're attaching our elastic, which will be the next step. We're also going to grab our elastic, which measures two inches less than the wearer's waist. And I'm going to, you can put it on top of like a scrap piece of paper or something, because all you're doing is you're butting it right next to each other like so. And then you're going to zigzag stitch over it to put them together. So I'm going to like grab, put them together here and use a um, pin to clip them on. Now that they're there, I can go and just zigzag stitch them together right there. There it is. Now I can just cut around, take off that, cut that um, out around it. All right, um, I did I did go back and zigzag stitch it wider and just made sure because I didn't want it to come apart. So I made my zigzag a little bit wider and I went over it a couple more times. So then I'm going to cut this off. 
and I'm gonna grab my waistband and the part that you want to be the right side, you're gonna place this um, elastic. First, you're gonna quarter it, fold it in half, marking the front, and then matching the front and back and finding the sides. And then you do the same with the waistband. Now I'm going to align that. Here's the back. I'm going to put this stitch right in the back and I'm going to align it to like the edge of the, see where the basting stitch is for the seam allowance. That's going to line up to the bottom of the elastic. So we're going to place the elastic right where it's lining up. So on this side, you can kind of see a little bit of the elastic on this side. You see how it's right butting up to the seam, to the basting stitch you just created. Now I'm gonna go ahead and sew it. it. Looks so big. All right, once it's all pinned, I'm gonna go ahead and sew it to my waistband along this edge, zigzag stitch it on with a, well, a stretch stitch it on. I'm taking my zigzag stitch by down so it's not as wide as I made it, and then I'm stretching the elastic to fit um, in between the points. I'm actually going to go this way. And as you can see, I'm like right at the edge of where the seam allowance is. All right, so your waistband will be attached. Now we're going to open up this, um, uh, <laughs> we're going to open up the waistband. Once it's opened, you're going to turn it around and you're going to top stitch through right on the seam, you're gonna top, st top stitch through the seam and through the elastic to hold your liner. The piece where, if see the elastic is this way, that's gonna be considered your liner. So you wanna go ahead and top stitch that down and that will help it stay down when you, when you attach it to the skirt so it won't be coming up over it. I used a triple stitch, which is a stretch stitch that looks like a top stitch um, for top stitching. I'll show you. This is a triple stitch right there, number five. So there's three little stitches, straight stitches there. Um, it turns out just like this, and it is stretchy stitch, so you can still stretch. This is also a really good stitch for if you want to hem your knits with your sewing machine. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and match up wrong sides together or raw edges and quarter our bands again. So here's your two sides. Here's the front and the back. Make sure those raw edges are matching. And then, um, let's see, where's the back? I wrote a B on the back, but I remember that I wrote it on the inside so I want to make sure I find it because I want to know which, this is the back right here that's what I I'm gonna put a red clip on there so I can remember I'm gonna grab my skirt I'm gonna turn my skirt inside out and I'm gonna mark mark my front and back as well so my back is already marked so we really just need the front and we're gonna fit our elastic your waistband in there right sides together. So this where you can see the stitch, that's the wrong side. So you want the right side to be matching. And you want all those raw edges to be together. If you need to baste your waistband together first, if it's pulling down and it's not allowing you to match those raw edges, you can go ahead and baste it together first before you um, come to attach it to the, to the skirt. And then we're going to attach this waistband to the skirt with your preferred stretch stitch. I'm going to use my serger and then we'll hem and we'll be done. I'm super excited. This looks so good. This skirt looks so good. Here's the back. I'm going to cut out the basting stitches. And here's the front. And there is my waistband. That looks really good. Um, my vent in the back, my side slit. I still haven't decided which one I want to keep, so I'm going to go ahead and hem it. 
and then um, check it out and see what, what I like when I try it on with an outfit. So now we're gonna go ahead and hem again. Um, so for the vent, you wanna make sure that this vent is slid over. Hold on, let me show it to you better. If you're hemming the vent, you wanna make sure that it's closed. See how the vent is closed here? And you're going to fold it, keep that uh, fold there, and you're going to fold it three quarter inch. We're gonna hem three quarter inch all the way around. For the side slit, we're also folding over and hemming three quarter inch. So I'm just gonna do that for both. And I am just going to do a simple like long stitch to um, hem it because again, <clears throat> like I said, I'm not really sure if I, what I want to do. And actually, I would like you to comment below and let me know what you think I should do. Should I go ahead and trim it to be a knee length or a uh, above the knee length? Should I leave it a midi and then just close up the back and add the other slit on the other side? What do you think I should do? I'm gonna tr I'm gonna hem it, try it on, and then I want you to comment below and let me know what you think I should do. All right, friends, we are done, and I am obsessed with the turnout of this skirt. I love all the little details of it, and I think it looks amazing. Um, I still cannot make up my mind if I want the side pleat or the one in the back. So I want you to tend, t comment below and let me know what you think. If I should go ahead and add the other um, slit on the other side and close up the back, or if I should close up the side and leave the back open, what do you think I should do? I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Go grab your pattern and come sew it up with me. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss any of our other tutorials. I'll see you next time. Bye.